Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to another What's for Dinner cookbook edition. This video is hosted, well not video, but this collab is hosted by Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life and it is a very... <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just a wonderful collab to be a part of. I'm very thankful to her for having this and hosting this every month this year. Um, there's only one more after this. And of course that's December. She has done one every month except for one month this year. So that, sorry, I was getting a phone call, <laughs> but she's had one every month this year except for one. So there's only one more left. So if you want to join in, message me below or leave me a comment in the video um, and I will get you the information that you will need to contact her. As you can tell, I have changed up a little bit, which I kind of told y'all about that in my grocery haul video. If you've already seen that one, that should have went up Tuesday. But anyways, um, this video, I have uh, two recipes for you and they're out of the same cookbook. I just went ahead and used my Gooseberry Patch cookbook, which they're my favorite. So one is a chicken recipe and then the other one is a recipe for some creamy creamed taters. <laughs> but anyways, you will see those recipes coming up here in a minute. But I just wanted to say thanks again to Tamara. So when you're done watching my video, please go give her some love and support on her channel. And make sure you check out the playlist of all the other lovely creators that will be in this collab for this month. So anyways, let's get on to cooking. Hope y'all like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Now, now let's go cook. Alright, so to make the two recipes that I'm doing for this cookbook collab, they're going to be out of the same cookbook, but it's going to be um, baked chicken poupon and I believe it's creamy garlic creamed potatoes. So, we're going to make both of those, but this is the first thing that you'll need, or the first ingredients that you'll need, because we're going to go ahead and prep the chicken. So we're going to clean this chicken, and then all of these get mixed in a bowl together, and that gets what, I guess, spread over the chicken, and then you bake it. And then, as far as the um, garlic potatoes, you just peel and wash your potatoes, and um, four to five green onions chopped, which I have over there, which have been regrowing. Did y'all know y'all could regrow your own tomato? Or tomatoes. <laughs> Did you know you could regrow your own green onions? So, and you can keep regrowing them. But, um, so we're going to use some of those and so I think that's it. And of course garlic and then, you know, your heavy whipping cream and everything and some butter. So I figured this and the potatoes would go really well together and I'll probably make some green beans too. So anyways, let's go ahead and clean this chicken up, get this, um, I guess if you would call it like a marinade or um just a topping i don't think you would really call it a glaze but anyways we're gonna go ahead and mix this topping up and get it on the chicken into the bacon dish and i'll just take y'all along with me so first things first we have the chicken cleaned and we cut them in half so now we have eight chicken breasts instead of just four so they'll cook quicker too but anyways i'm gonna set these off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and make the topping marinade i don't know whatever you want to call it so, first things first, sorry about that, dropped it on the glass jar or cutting board. But anyways, you just want some Dijon mustard and that's gonna go in first. And since it's not my recipe, I can't give you the measurements. So, just kind of follow along. And I just spilt that all over my shirt, y'all. Hopefully, I have enough not we'll put the lid back on it after i make a mess with it lovely <laughs> and we'll just do the little shakedown trick <laughs> and see if we can get it to squeeze out that noise though not quite enough yet don't know if we're gonna make it or not 
I made this because I had all this stuff on hand. So I went through my cookbooks, which is the point of this whole collab. So that's why I went through everything. I wonder if my little spurtle will reach in there. Um, but you know, this, this is why Tamra done this collab, you know, to get people using their cookbooks more. And I'm gonna be covered in Dijon mustard if I don't quit. But I'm gonna go ahead and scrape all of this out. And then when I'm done, I'll bring you on back. All right, so I got all of the mustard out. And I just went ahead and stirred it all together because it was kind of separated, of course. But anyways, that is in there. And now we're going to add the oil. It says oil or water, but I think olive oil would be better. So two tablespoons. Looks about enough with eyeballing. <laughs> Y'all know I'm famous for it. All right, so we've got the oil in there. And now we're gonna season with love with these three things right here, okay? Just season, season with love. Season to your little heart's content. So, in with the garlic powder. And with the Italian seasoning. You know, I had honestly thought about using some zesty Italian, and I might do that. I might just go ahead and mix it. You know, the little dressing packets? So, I think that would be a good combo. And then, of course, nature seasoning. Now, we're going to stir this up and see what we think about it. If we need to put anything else in there, we will. I'll probably have to leave two pieces plain because of my oldest son. He does not like mustard on anything. So we'll leave two pieces plain, but that's okay. It'll be fine. All right. It's got some kick to it. But you know, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and let this sit here together. I think I've got everything in there. Yes. And then, this is a completely different recipe than what I'm used to. Never tried it before. It's the whole point of getting this cookbook out. So, y'all might be failing right along with me. We won't know till the end. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and get happy. Get my casserole dish out, put the chicken in it, and I'll be right back. Say hi, Peppy. Y'all see him right there? <laughs> Always at my feet. All right, so we have our bacon dish. We're just going to go ahead and spray all the sides and the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna take our chicken breast. And we're gonna go ahead and put them on in here as evenly as we can. And then we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we might, I don't know. Oh, y'all, I did it again. It's all right, it's probably just cause it's still a little frozen, but that's okay. We are going to make this work one way or another. So we'll just smush it. <laughs> just like that. Y'all didn't see me do that though, did you? <laughs> all right. So like I said, it was probably still because it's a little frozen, but that's okay. So we have all of our chicken in the pan. And since we have so many seasonings in that, um, the mustard mixture, um, I probably won't put any on these two right here because of my oldest. Actually, you know what? You know what I think I'll do? I'll just save him these two pieces. And we'll just put them in there like that. That's what I'll do. And then I'll just make his pieces in a, in a pan. <clears throat> all right, so since we have all the seasonings in this mixture, I'm just going to season our chicken breast with a little bit of onion powder and black pepper. So that's what we're going to do now. <coughs> Hold on, dog's barking. Alright, they temporarily stopped barking, but there is a cat outside, so I can't guarantee how long. So we're going to go ahead and make this real quick. <laughs> so just a little salt. Well, onion powder and pepper, I should say. Now, the directions say to pretty much coat the chicken in this, but as you can see, I didn't use a big enough bowl. So, when in doubt, what we're gonna do is I stuck the wrong side in there. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you. We're just gonna get a little bit of this mixture on the chicken, and we're gonna spread it around. 
You might have to bear with me for a second if you hear some barking. I'm, I apologize. My fur babies. All right. So we've got that on there. We're going to go ahead and brush it on this side and then we're going to flip the chicken over and we're going to put it on the other side as well. Now we just use, this is a handy gadget, let me tell you. So we're just coating the chicken in it. And I really hope this is good. <laughs> but you know what? Even if it isn't, we live and we learn and we make something different. That's how I always say. So, all right, I've got that coated. I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing to the other side and I'll bring you back when it's all done and ready to go into the oven. All right, so I've got that flip flopped over and now we're gonna do the same thing for this side. So I brought you back before the oven, but that's okay. That's all right. It'll be okay. <laughs> no biggie. Maybe I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit more. I don't know why, because I just seem, you know, to ramble. Hopefully that don't bug you all, but if it does, just fast forward through this part. But I like talking to my friends, and that's what I consider you all as friends. I know I don't get to do these too much because, you know, life happens and the dogs bark and I'm busy and just getting home from work, but it's Sunday. Hold up. All right, sorry guys, my dogs didn't stop barking in time, but I just went ahead and spread it all over the chicken and now I have my oven set for 375 and we're just gonna go ahead and bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes depending well, if your chicken's done and where this is still a little bit frozen, I'll probably end up cooking mine for at least 25 minutes and it could go up to the 30. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I'll bring you right back and we'll go ahead and start on them taters. All right. So I've got a mixed mash mosh of taters here. I've got some russets. I got some yellows and I got some baby reds. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all these up and then we're going to dice them on up and then I'll put them in a pot with water and I'm going to bowl them and that's when I will bring you right back. All right, so I have my potatoes washed, peeled, cubed, and in the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. I didn't have any chicken broth, so this time I'll just use water, um, especially since these are gonna be, you know, the garlic, creamed garlic potatoes. Um, you know, well, garlic creamed potatoes, sorry. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just boil these in water and some salt, get them on the stove over here to start cooking. And when everything is done, I will bring you back to show you the finished product. I am gonna make some of my green beans that I always do, which are the Margaret Holmes green beans to go with it. But whenever these get ready to start the next one after they're already boiled, I will show you that as well. So hang tight and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so real quick while the taters are boiling, I went ahead and chopped up the green onions. I have my minced garlic here waiting. You could definitely use fresh, but I'm using this because this is what I have on hand, your heavy whipping cream. And of course, butter. So that is all you're gonna need to finish up the potatoes when they're done boiling. Like I said before, I'll bring you back, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you that I've got this set up and ready to go. So see you in a bit. So our potatoes were done. I went ahead and drained them and they're over there sitting, but we need to get the sauce made. So we're gonna start off with some butter. It looks like a lot, but it's not. Trust me, you got a lot of taters in there. You gotta, you know. You got to butter them up. <laughs> and then we're going to take our green onions. Not all of them. We're going to save some of them for the top. So about that many green onions. And then you want to come in with a good old heap of garlic. A heaping spoonful. So dump that right in there too. So basically, we're just going to mix this all together, and that's what's going to get dumped in our potatoes. Once this is all melted and heated through, and of course the heavy cream is just, you know, to help them get whipped up. Make them nice and creamy. Just what we need to go with that chicken. Which it's done, but I've got the oven shut off, so that's just sitting in there. But we're going to go ahead and just get this on mixed up. And I'll bring you back when it's all melted. All right, y'all, when it gets to this point, that's when you're gonna add in the heavy whipping cream. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. And then we're gonna actually let that cook a little bit. About that much. 
the recipe does say to let it come to where it's like bubbling. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I guess we'll dump that over our taters and we'll mash them one up. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cook on down a little bit. And then I'll bring it back when we go ahead and pour those over the potatoes. But I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in a bowl. So once I do that and get them in the bowl, I'll come back and check on this sauce. And then we should be ready to dump this in those taters and get them all mashed up. All right, so we're back over here. I have my potatoes, I've got our cream sauce, and we're just gonna go ahead and dump all that on there. Make sure you get all that goodness out. <laughs> you can't be leaving none of that behind now. All right, where's my little handy dandy tater masher? Y'all can see all that garlic and them onions in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and mash these on up without getting the potatoes everywhere. That's gonna be the key. Well, I told a fib, do you all like lumpy potatoes or do you have to have them smooth? <laughs> I don't mind it either way, actually. I, I don't know, I kinda like that texture, but let me know in the comments below if you all prefer like very smooth and creamy potatoes, or if y'all like a little lumpy bumpy in your taters. So, let me know below. Now I'll bring you back. All right. Now that we've got that, looks Pretty creamy to me, but like I said, I like them with a little bit of texture to them, so this is fine by me. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and taste test. Um, top it off with a little bit of butter and the rest of the green onions, and then I will bring you back when it is time to plate everything up. Okay, so we have our green beans. Here are our garlic creamy or creamy garlic potatoes or however you want to say it garlic cream potatoes and then our baked chicken poupon like I said this is a very new recipe to me so hopefully it's good <laughs> we will be letting you all know very shortly all right y'all so here is everything all plated up i lost my video footage but here are some pictures this was a very good meal it actually turned out very good so if you want to give it a try also remember to go check out tamra's channel and the video playlist for this cookbook collab i had a blast doing this one and found out i also like this recipe so don't forget to go show them some love i'll have everything in my description box below but until next time y'all god bless bye